Hey guys, what's up? This is Hussain Tabi. Today I'm going to show you one small trick that how to uh, convert the triangulated meshes into the quad. Now, maybe some of you doesn't know um, what is a, a triangulated mesh, right? So here is one example. You can see this uh, model. This is nice model. Right, it's a model of a saloon provided by one of my client. But the problem is, um, maybe most of the people are actually getting the files of AutoCAD, and when you import the AutoCAD file into 3ds Max, it works fine. But sometimes clients uh, give you or export the model from software like Grasshopper or um, um blender maya there are a lot of other software especially like um rhino all right so this model this client actually provided me this model from um rhino all right and when she gave me this and i imported i was very happy but when you see this when you see in the wireframe mode you can see when i select this you can see this edges all right so you can see here it is making a triangle. These are called triangulated meshes, right? If you have a single texture on the walls, then it's okay. But otherwise, if I want to change the texture or if I want to edit a little bit somewhere, then it's quite difficult when you have a triangulated mesh. And even in calculation value, and this uh, matters a lot. That if you have a quad uh, model, okay, the quad model should look like um, like this box. Right, so there is no triangle, it should be a quad. Okay, so how we can solve this issue? So, what you can do here is you can select the model, whatever part you want to convert into the quad, and then go to the modify element. And then here you will have optimize. Right, and this little button, this little modifier can do the trick. This is awesome. You just click it, and you see a big difference here. What happens is it reduced the triangulated meshes and convert that some of them into the uh, quad, right? But still, most of the uh, polygons are in triangle, right? So what you have to do is you just have to come here down and you click on this auto H. When you click this, see this. Don't worry about this artifact, right? We'll solve this in a moment. But my purpose is solved. I'm having, I have removed the triangles from this model. Now, if you convert this into the editable poly directly, you will have some issues here. Some parts will be so good, but some part will have this smoothness issue here, right? I don't know why this is happening here, but what I know is we can solve it. So how we can solve it? So there is a little trick. Rather than converting it to direct and editable poly, what you can do is go to the modifier list, edit table mod, uh, edit poly modifier. See, it's perfect. No artifacts here. And then after that, if you want, you can convert this to editable poly, and your problem is solved. Right. I hope this trick will help you out in some time, um, maybe in your projects. Okay. So, have a nice day. See ya. Enjoy.